In this video, we are exploring Rumbur village in Kalash Valley, where everyone is really busy getting ready for the highly anticipated Kalash festival. In case you missed the first part of our adventure, we have traveled from London to Pakistan to see for ourselves whether Pakistan is as dangerous as the media portrays it to be. In this series, we drove more than 400 kilometers, going through some rough and bumpy roads, some of the craziest roads we have ever been on. Our journey took us to some of the most beautiful places in Pakistan, where we were surrounded by its outstanding mountains and natural beauty. We were blown away by the kindness and hospitality of the Pakistani people, from kids to adults. And I don't think I need to emphasize how much we enjoy eating Pakistani food. Now we are here in Rumbu. We are staying at a guest house run by a local family. First things first, let's begin our day with the local breakfast, organic eggs and some homemade bread. We need to eat like the locals, which means no forks or spoons. Staying in this guest house gives us the opportunity to get familiar with the Kalash culture and experience how they get ready for the festival. We are also not the only tourists. There are people here who travel to Pakistan from different parts of the world. Just making a spoon out of walnut in Kalash Valley. Beautiful wood, beautiful place. <laughs> what do you want to, to do with that spoon? Do you want to carry it around? Yeah, I'm actually lacking a spoon to stir in my pot. At the moment, I'm just doing a small spoon. So a big one will be nice. How did you find about Kalash? I think just researching Pakistan online. Mm. And then Kalash just popped up and then just like, you know, glue with like fluorescent light. I think you've and been here more than us. What do you think about Kalash? Oh, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. The people are just so welcoming. The culture is very rich. Uh, and all the younger generation and the older generation are just so passionate about their culture, which is pretty inspiring. By walking through the village, we realized the vital role this river plays in the community. The river is a source of drinking water and it is used to wash clothes and to power water means to make flour. water is also a source of food for the Kalash people. There are various farms and fruit trees alongside the river. You know if you don't want to get black hair, you can put the knife and with the knife open. Yeah. I'm expert on that. You see? We put it here. Yeah. And you can do that. All bridges in this part of the world are handmade. You need some good balancing skills to cross some of them. Yeah, this really makes your wishes come true. And what do you have wished? Shadow. <laughs> the bridge is shaking. 
looking and lost. <laughs> part of the valley which has no easy access for disabled people we are going to meet an inspiring wood carver who contracted polio at a young age this is Rehmat Wali due to his situation he could not go to school and he rarely leaves his house but this didn't prevent him from working hard and expressing his creativity he makes different things. For example, he's now right now he's making a man, which is also tradition. I told you in that uh, uh, that it's memory of a man, but he is not for somebody else. This is a part of culture. He's making to sell. It. There's not a sketching or not on the paper or neither he draws some lines on the wood. Just this is uh, the my, a mental design which he has, and he cuts according to the mind. He has made this one, so this it will take 10 to 15 days, but the one he has made, it took almost one month. different ceremonies, it's about the seasonal ceremonies, bird ceremonies, or death in, uh, anniversaries or death ceremonies. They celebrate here by dancing, by drumming, or by playing music. So now this is old enough, so they have shifted towards the, up, up to the hill. At the top of this hill is where everyone gathers every night before the festival and dance. This ceremony means a lot to Kalash people. It's a spiritual event and also a time to worship their gods. Video, we will walk towards the Afghan border and explore a very remote village. Let's be honest, we are, we are kind of lost and we can't find our track. Should we follow them? Leave the yoga, it's for someone else.